I've worked out the secret on how to rank my Shopify store for number one in Google, and it's given me free traffic and free sales every single day. And the great thing is that anyone can do it. You don't need an agency, you don't need any technical development done, you can just implement these strategies and you can increase your rankings on your store. Now, if you're just starting out in Shopify optimization, I have created a beginner's guide. Now that one you can click here and get straight to it. That's a step-by-step -step guide on giving you the foundations of SEO so that you can get your store set up properly. Now I recommend you do that video first before you jump on and do this tutorial because this one's more advanced strategies. So we need to do the basics before we do the advanced stuff. Now, if you've already done that, it's time to follow along with me now and I'm gonna take you through some of the more advanced strategies. If we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Brendan Gillen. I'm an e-commerce coach and entrepreneur and I run my own seven-figure e-commerce stores. I've worked with hundreds of brands and helping them start, grow and scale their e-commerce businesses. And I love putting videos out like this because I want to try and get you guys to level your businesses up. When it comes to SEO or search engine optimization, most people only try and rank for keywords. Now that's a great start, but it's not the way you're gonna level up your search results. Over the last five years, search engines have become a lot more sophisticated. And when you type a search term in, you don't just get back text results, you get back lots of other results. You get back things like image results, videos, products, recipes, articles, you get lots and lots of things. Now the reason you get these back is that Google can identify what the content type is when they find your site on the web and they bring it back and they rank you higher if you've given them that information. Let me give you an example of how this works. If we pop over to Google here and we type in uh, a search term for the type of product that I sell. So I sell these gloves here, which is the Twins BGVL Boxing Gloves. Now if you're in boxing, you probably know what these gloves are. They're super popular and all the pros use them. Them. Now see what happens here when the results come up. If we scroll down, this is my store. Not only do we see the name of the product, which is great, this is good, basic SEO. We are also now seeing the image there of that product. We're also seeing the description of the product here and we're seeing the rating and we're seeing how many reviews and we're seeing whether or not it is or not in stock. The other cool thing we're seeing here is these things here, which is called frequently asked questions. Now by having all this information here, Google knows that I'm optimizing my site in such a way that I'm providing really accurate information so that the person that gets the search results knows what they're getting when they click the listing. So Google is rewarding me by providing well-structured, well-documented content so that it can make its search engine better. Now Google will also reward you with the more information that you give it and the more structured the information is. And they call this structured content. Now I'm gonna take you through how to set up structured content on your site soon, but it's something that we really need to understand so that we can feed the Google beast so it knows how to return the results properly. Now this is similar to when you search for something like a recipe and Google just brings up the recipe results on what the ingredients are and what the method is without even taking you through to the page. What they're trying to do is keep you within that search engine because what they want you to do is click on these ads. So the more information that we give them, the more ads that they're gonna show. However, if your listing is really detailed and has lots of information, what's gonna happen? The person searching is going to look here and what listing are they going to show here? They're going to click my one instead of the competitors down here because above the fold, what are you seeing? You're seeing my listing here, you're seeing my ads here, and you're even seeing me over the side here. So we really want to make sure that we're putting as much information into our listings so that Google can present it in such a way that people have no choice but to click it. But what is structured data? Let me show you. If we jump over here into Google Search Central, I've got this document here and it is called the structured data markup that's, that Google Search supports. Now the cool thing about this is this tells you all the different types of formats that you can structure your data in. So what that means is that when Google searches your web page, it knows whether it's gonna be an article, it's gonna be a book, and it knows the elements on that page so that it can present them in search engines. And have a look at all the different options they have here, so many. We've got things like breadcrumbs, which is the thing that go across the, your website. You know, if you're selling a book, we can tell them it's a book. And we can see over here on the right-hand side the way Google is going to present this data in here. Now, the ones that we need for e-commerce are things like frequently asked question. We can see how that lays out here. Uh, we're gonna, you know, how to could even be a really interesting one. Uh, let's go down and have a look at some other ones. Uh, if you run a local business, we could also use that data. Uh, we got to tell it that's a logo. Let's have a look if there's any specific. This is the one here. This one is product data. So you can see this is styled the way that my product data is. We can see that it's got stars, it's got ratings. Sometimes it has the price. Uh, we could do a Q&A. 
Uh, if you're putting recipes up there, we can do a recipe. Reviews. So what we can see here, guys, is that if we can give Google the correct information, it's going to know exactly what your page is about and it's gonna reward you by putting you up in the rankings. So now that we know what structured data is, what I want to do is I want to show you how we're going to get your listing to look just like mine. I'm gonna show you how to put this image in here and I'm gonna show you how to add the structured data. And then as a bonus, I'm gonna show you how to add these little frequently asked questions on your store. So the first thing we're going to do is work on getting the image up. Now, the way we get images up there is we use things called alt tags. Now we did cover this off in our beginner video, but we're gonna go a little bit more advanced here and make sure that every single product has not only an image alt tag, but we're also changing the image file name. Now what happens here is as Google takes a copy of your site, it matches the image alt tag with the image file name, with the title of your product, with the description, and it brings it all together and says, well, if all those keywords for that product are there, then we're gonna increase the ranking of this product. So let's jump into Shopify and I'm gonna show you exactly how to change the alt tags and I'm gonna give you a little tool that you can use that's gonna help you do it in bulk. So when you're in Shopify, I want you to browse to your product and we're gonna see all the media here that we have our images. So we can see this is the product that we got ranking really, really well. Now what we want to do is we want to click on the image that we want to change the alt tag. We click that and we can see over the side here, we've got this text. Now this is called the alt text. So what we have here is we have the keywords that we wanna rank for, we have the product brand, and then we have the product type. Now the other thing about alt tags is important is we need to make the description of what the actual image is. So here we're talking that it is black front and back, okay? So Google now knows that this image is a twin special boxing glove and it's a photo of it front and back and it's black, okay? So it knows that. So it means when someone searches for that product, it's likely to result. We also have that text written within the product description. We have it in the title, we have it in the variants. So we're seeing that it's everywhere in all different data points on our website. The other little strategy here that no one's doing is I change the name of my product images okay so most people will just upload the a random number or dsc123 because it's a photo from your camera but what we need to do guys is we need to change this to include the keywords in it as well look what we've got here it says twin special muay thai boxing gloves uh with the product code it also says that it's the size and the color in there as well as my brand name now this is a super advanced strategy that no one's doing and there's a really simple, easy tool that you can use that does it for you. And this tool is called the SEO Image Optimizer and Speed Test. Now, not only does this change your image names, it also compresses your images, it adds some SEO data in there. It's a really awesome tool that we like to use. Plus, what's gonna happen is when you run the tool, it's going to rename all your images with the keywords that you want it to do for every single image without you having to go in and change everything. It's even gonna add the alt tags in there, it's gonna compress the images, it's a really, excellent tool that I recommend you use. Now, the next thing we're going to work on is getting our structured data right. Now, you remember we talked about structured data where it talks about giving you product information, price, reviews, all those sorts of things. Now, the benefit of Shopify is a lot of this comes out of the box and it's built into the theme that you're using. Now, if you're using a theme from the Shopify theme store, nine times out of 10, it's gonna have structured data already built in, so you're in a good place. If you're using a theme from somewhere else or it's a custom built theme, sometimes the structured data is not in there. So we can actually use a tool which is called the Structured Data Testing Tool and it can tell you whether or not it is working or it's not working or things that are missing. So if we just go to Google and type in Structured Data Testing Tool, it's gonna bring you to this page here. So what we can do is we can just paste in the URL of our product page to see how Google is interpreting this page. So we paste it in there and let's see what the results give us. And this is what it's come back with. We can see that it's got four valid items are detected, which is great. We've got lots of green ticks. I love green ticks. Uh, and it tells us what it's actually finding. So we can see that it knows that it's a product snippet. We go in here and it shows us what it's found. It's found the detected items. Let's have a quick look. And it now knows that it is a product, which is great. Don't worry about all that code. Uh, it knows the product ID. It tells us whether there's an offer, the size, uh, you know, the availability, the price. So it is giving all this information in a structured way so that Google knows how to interpret it. And the great thing is it's done that for every single variant on this product. Now, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, let's have a look if it's got all the additional information. Yes, it does. So it has everything like the product descriptions, uh, it has the brand, and it even has the rating value. So guys, you can see how powerful this is. Because we've structured this data using the Shopify theme, it's feeding it into Google in a way that it understands and can interpret, and Google's gonna reward you for that.
Now, if you don't get positive results on this and you get lots of red ticks or ambers or everything like that, so what we have to do is get a developer to pop in there and just edit those for you. The great thing is it's a super quick and easy job and won't cost you much money. It's a pretty standard thing for a developer to do. Now, we use a company called Hey Carson to do these types of jobs. I've got a link down below that's gonna give you access to my Hey Carson account and you can just paste your job in there. You're gonna get a developer come back in and they're gonna be able to do this for you super, super quick. And when they have done that work for you, we then come back here, we run the test again, and we make sure we've got all the green ticks. We want to make sure we do have the product snippets. We want to make sure we've got the listings. We want to make sure breadcrumbs, review snippets. We basically want to have as many green ticks as possible here. Now, the final advanced strategy that we're using is called frequently asked questions. Now, this is a structured data type that Google really likes because think about when you go into Google, what is it that you're doing? You're asking Google a question and you're expecting an answer. So if we go back to the example that we had at the start, we've just typed in the boxing glove that we're interested in. But what it's also said is people also ask and it's brought up these answers. And what it does here is it has the question and it also has the answer directly written into the search engine. It is really, really neat. So we can see here as we go, it's going to give you more and more results here. Now we're doing this on our pages now so that when people type into search engines questions, our page is gonna come up and provide those answers. Not only does that put us up in the search engines, it also gives us authority and it tells Google that we're really trying to feed it with great information. Here's an example here on my store. So if we have a look at the boxing gloves page, what we've done is at the bottom of this boxing gloves page, we have structured this data as a frequently asked question and we've used questions that people type into search engines. Things like white boxing gloves, what are the costs of boxing gloves, what are the types of boxing gloves? And if we pop this down here, these are the answers here. And what Google does is it grabs this content and if someone types in that result, maybe my frequently asked question will pop up. Now I said maybe because we can't guarantee this is gonna work, but what we need to do is give it as much information so that Google chooses us. Imagine 200 other stores do the same thing. Google needs to be able to decide which one to put it there. So it's gonna throw different people in at different times. But the majority of time, if you structure the data right and you put the content in right, you are gonna get that listing. Now, how do you find out what sort of questions to put in there? Now we use a tool which we call Answer the Public. This is a really awesome because it goes out to Google and it finds what people are searching. So let me give you an example. If I type in here, boxing gloves, what it's gonna do is it's gonna to go to Google and it's gonna find out for people that search boxing gloves, what are some other related searches they do? And what Answer the Public does is it actually categorizes these into the types of search terms that they are. So let's have a look at what these results gave us. To see it a little bit easier, I actually like to click the data button. Uh, so here we can see that they've broken up into different categories. So these are things like are or can or hows. And what these allow you to do is formulate questions based on what people are asking. So have a look at this one here. I really like the how ones, how boxing gloves are made, how boxing gloves should fit, how boxing gloves doesn't really make any sense, uh, what boxing gloves should I get? That'd be a great one for an e-commerce store. We can put the brands that we sell in there, right? So we use this list here to develop the questions or the frequently asked questions on our product pages. Now we don't wanna to put too many there, you know, probably put three to five on every single page. Now, once you've got the frequently asked questions on your page, what we then do is we go back to our friends at Hey Carson, we get a developer to come in and they structure that with frequently asked question data. And if we remember what we looked at earlier today, we've got an FAQ type schema here and we can see this is how it lays out. So guys, I hope those three advanced strategies have been super helpful for you. I'll just recap so you don't forget. The first one is add image alt tags and change the image file names. The second one is make sure that you've got product-based structured data on your store. And then the third one is using frequently asked questions on a collection page or on your product page. Make sure it's got structured data around them. And that means that when Google takes a copy of that, it's gonna put your site up there when people ask that question. Now, if you have found this useful, you can always work with me. I've put a link down below to our program if you're interested in joining. If not, just subscribe to my channel, like this video, and you're gonna get alerted every time I drop a video just like this one.